Bliss College, know your office suite. Hi, my name is Tim. One of the capabilities of LibreOffice's word processor writer is web authoring. It allows you to use a graphical user interface to, to design a web page rather than just source code. It is similar to an application like Adobe Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver in this way. When you click the file menu in Start Center or any one of the six applications and highlight the new submenu, a list of documents appear, document types appears. Um, one of those is HTML document. When you click this this uh, item, a new document is created in Writer that has a few d different features than the uh, standard document you would normally standard text document you would normally create in Writer. It it's by default it saves the, the document with an HTML extension. It also has an HTML source view button and a preview and web browser button. This video will give an overview of the HTML document interface in LibreOffice Writer. This document about Rottweilers has several headings, an image, and a table in addition to the basic body text. These can be edited with LibreOffice Writer standard tools. The nice thing about Writer, like most web author authoring applications, is that you can do most of the editing and design view. For example, I will move this image to the right side of the text by changing properties in the image dialog. Then I will pull in the, the table simply by dragging the right edge to the left. Next, I will change the background color in the left column by using the background color item in the table toolbar. Let's look at this in the default web browser. <clears throat> now let's look at the source code. To, to do this, click the source code button in the standard toolbar. While most editing can be done in the design view, some things can only be done in the code view. As you can see, Writer creates a document in HTML 4.0 transitional document type definition. This is because it integrates structure and presentation properties. It doesn't write the style elements in a CSS file or use inline CSS code. To make changes to the code, you will need to add or edit elements that are depreciated. This is code that is obsolete, but most browsers can still recognize it. This video was an introduction to the web authoring features in LibreOffice Writer. Thank you for watching. Click on the subscribe to OS College channel button and check out my other videos on YouTube. You also can see more tutorials and articles about LibreOffice at oscollege.com.